and it was kind of a cool night last night and uh, uh, windy at the start and my older daughter, you know, in life there's a lot of like uh, barriers we try and break through and in running there's a lot of time barriers as well. Uh, a lot of time barriers and uh, uh, like the four minute miles, the famous one, or the, they're trying to break the two hour marathon right now, which is crazy. Cause when I used to run the world record was 208, but they're trying to break the two hour marathon or the, you know, uh, but for individuals, it could be a four hour marathon or a 10 minute mile or what have you. And my daughter, older daughter has been running up against a barrier uh, since she started high school and she's only got a couple more meets in her high school career. And I'm going to cry just thinking about it because it's been such a fun experience cheering for her since she started running at junior high. And she might get mad if I say this, but certainly she's not the most talented runner by far, but she works so hard and has such a good attitude and wants it so bad and is so determined. Uh, that it's hard just not to love watching her run uh, and try so hard. And last night she came up against a barrier that she'd been coming up against, uh, I mean, really her whole career, but specifically the last year, she almost broke through it. Uh, I just say, I mean, this is gonna be embarrassing. It's a six minute mile. She'd never broken a six minute mile. And last year in the last meet, she won her heat but ran a 608 and was mad she didn't go a little faster. And uh, uh, all year uh, she's been flirting with it. And I think she ran a, maybe a six, maybe a 608 or 601 in her first meet and a 604 and a 601 and a 604. And the meets were ticking off and the months started ticking off. And she was really hoping to do it. And again, she only has a few more meets of track season and her whole team knew her speed her goal and she, I mean she's very emotional like me and she was terrified and angry when she wouldn't and, you know we had to evaluate her performance and you know she's a lot like her dad uh, but I'll tell you what last night she did it and it gives me a chill just saying it and her whole team and it was an invite but her whole team was running back and forth and screaming for her I'm getting the chills uh, every lap and going crazy and she started out and we developed a strategy and she was right on pace for her first lap her second lap was a little slow so I was worried her third lap she did pretty well uh, a little faster than I was expecting so she got back on pace and uh, her fourth lap she had to she had to run what's called negative splits almost and almost run just as fast the second half of the race as the first and she was able to do that and she ran like a 257 first half and because of her great last 400 came through in 557 and the whole team was cheering and it was so exciting and she ran through the race. She didn't even win her heat, but still, as she ran through the finish, she raised her arms like this, and she was so excited, and she was mobbed by her teammate. And uh, the starter had to say, hey, you know, you gotta get off the track, there's still runners finishing. And she got through, and I gave her a big hug and told her how proud I was. I would have been proud if she ran a 7-10. Uh, but I, you know, you can't help be proud when uh, uh, somebody you love so much uh, achieves their dream. And to her at that moment, she was going, wow, this is the best moment of my life. It was felt to her like she climbed Mount Everest or broke a world record or, uh, but she did it. And it was so awesome to be a part of and watch her journey and watch her achieve her dreams whatever they may be because you know that's not a state qualifying time or an olympic world record or anything and it doesn't matter so anybody at any level can have a dream and the glory of achieving it uh is what matters when you achieve it and she got to achieve it and celebrate it in front of her mom and me and all her teammates and it was just an awesome 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 experience and I got videos of it and uh, sent them all to my family. And uh, 
uh, was just so neat, and I am so proud of her, and she's got to feel so good, because uh, she did it, she did it, and you can do it too, uh, you can do it too, you got a dream out there, you know, it, again, it might be losing five pounds, or I don't know, having ten grand saved in the bank, or getting a new job, or finding a man or a woman, or uh, being a little more kind to yourself, or, uh, I don't even just making it through the day sometimes it might feel like a dream, but I'm telling you, if my little daughter can do it, so can you. And, uh, again, I think it's important to find inspiration and I find so much inspiration in watching Aaron run. 